Welcome back to another episode of Hyper Genki. My name is Cece and this week we have a spin-off from a popular game involving robotic bears, Quentin Tarantino's update to his Kill Bill films and a very sexy Japanese girl yelling at you. <laughs> Where else can you get all that but here at Hyper Genki? talk much about Japanese television here at Hyper Genki, but this next article was so out there that we just had to bring it up. Japanese media tends to run under the impression that adding an attractive woman to something makes it better. Wanna sell something? Bring on the sexy bikini model. Whether it be promoting shopping malls, selling records, junk food, drinks, it simply works. Yes, sex does sell. Yet there is one subgenre of the sexy girl group that is yet to be explored. The angry sexy girl. Which is exactly why a Japanese TV channel called Tokyo TV has launched a new TV show called I Want Risa Yoshiki to be more angry at me. The show, as the title suggests, is hosted by Risa Yoshiki, who is a popular gurabira, a model who takes part in sexy, seductive photo shoots that always verge on nudity, but never quite go there. For the show, Yoshiki simply yells at the audience, wearing formal clothes, but uses provocative and angry language. Wanna check it out? Here you go. I bet I could do that. Actually... I can't believe you watch anime all day, you waste of space and time! You get off your butt and go do your work! Anyhow, we here are really curious to see how the audience reacts to this because it will make one heck of a new genre of television. Quentin Tarantino, the famed director who has famously declared his love of Japanese cinema and anime with his two Kill Bill films, delivered a staggeringly awesome bit of news at the recent San Diego Comic Con when he announced his plans to release a new version of Kill Bill called Kill Bill The Whole Bloody Affair, which would combine scenes from the original two Kill Bill films and extend the anime sequence for Oren Ishii's origin story. The famed director was quoted as saying, What's going on with that is originally back when Kill Bill was going to be one movie, I wrote an even longer anime sequence. So you see, in the movie, Oren kills her boss, but then there was that long-haired guy. The big sequence was her fighting that guy. IG, the Japanese anime studio who did Ghost in the Shell, so we can't do that and finish it in time for your thing. And plus, you can't have a 30 minute piece in your movie. I said, okay, it was my favourite part, but it was the part you could drop. So we dropped it and then later when IG heard we were talking about doing Kill Bill, the whole bloody affair, they still had the script so without even being commissioned, they just did it and paid for it themselves. It's really terrific. Anyway, the Weinstein company and myself were talking about actually coming out with it sometime. Not before the year is out, but within the next year, with limited theatrical engagement as well. It was rumoured that more footage was being made, and that leaves us here at Hyper Genki super excited. I, for one, really liked Kill Bill, and can't wait to see the whole bloody affair. So this, along with his other new film, The Hateful Eight, will make 2015 one heck of a brilliant year for Quentin Tarantino fans everywhere. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And now for crazy commercial time. This week we're actually featuring a product that we've had here on the show before, Strong Zero Dry. But this new commercial is so out there that we just had to show you this one too. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! 
That was so good. Up next, we have a game for the PS Vita called The Ties of Subo Sujo Dagon Rompa Another Episode, aka Absolute Despair Girl Dagon Rompa Another Episode, which is a spin off from the Dagon Rompa series. What differentiates this game from the other titles in the series is that it is a third person shooter breaking away from the more puzzle RPG elements of the previous installments. Much of the teaser shows us fighting what seems to be a horde of monocumers using megaphones that shout words and wolverine-like claws. In terms of the timeline that this game takes place in, this title seems to occur between after the tragedy that took place a year and a half ago, Kamaro has locked herself away in her apartment in Toa City after the evil Monokuma took over the city and brought in both his robot army and followers. However, once a Monokuma robot attacks her apartment, she is forced to run for her life. It is during this that Kamaru obtains a megaphone hacking gun, which allows her to fight back against the evil robots. Teaming up with Toko Fukawa, aka Genocide Jill, one of the surviving students of Hope's Peak Academy, alongside Makoto, Kamara soon comes up against the Monokuma Kids, a group of RPG fanatic children who murder adults in the name of Monokuma. Danger and action ensue. This game looks like a lot of fun and may even help expand the storyline of the series. So make sure you get yourself a copy on September 25th or pre-order now. And now for toy news. This time round we have a very sexy figurine that I'm sure all you boys will certainly love. Her name is Sam Shiel from the hentai Gargantuan Breasts Fantasy. She has bright red hair, devilish horns and is sitting very provocatively on a platform. While she's already wearing very little, if that's still not enough for you, you have the option of taking off her clothes. And we're not going to show you that now, but just take our word for it. Up next, we have the non-scale pre-painted PVC figurine of Elin from the MMO RPG game Terra, the Exiled Realm of Arborea. Not only does she have the cutest pink hair and adorable bunny ears, but even though she doesn't have much in the breast department, she has a kick-ass booty. She's also wearing a cute swimsuit with her bunny tail and she has a sick sickle. And that's it for another episode of Hyper Genki. Misa will be back next week, but until then, don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.